What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert, if this is your first time tuning in. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making some venison jerky or deer jerky. Um, we had a doe um, that was given to us, um, part of an MLD program. They have to get rid of a lot of uh, uh, coal bucks and usually does. So this is one of those. My dad ended up uh, uh, cleaning it. I wasn't around at that time. So I'm going to show you guys how I make jerky and uh, if you want to take the recipe, go for it. <clears throat> Before I go on guys, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share if you find this video helpful. Um, so what I'm going to show you right now is basically what I use for um, making my deer jerky. I bought some deer, uh, some jerky seasoning. I've never used this, but I'm just going to make a small batch with this to see how it works and how it tastes. Um, that's going to be my last, my last deal. So one thing I do recommend is buying um, ground black pepper. So I'll show you guys this is what that is. And buy the one that's a little bit more chunkier. If you buy the fine uh, pepper, it doesn't taste as good as this one for whatever reason. Also, I use garlic, pe garlic pepper. Which I'll show you guys here. This is garlic pepper. And then also use onion powder. And this is the little smoke shack I call. Um, this is where I keep my uh, freezer, my smoker, um, dehydrator, and all my butchering equipment is all in here. And then of course this is where I wash the hunting clothes. <laughs> um, some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. I've heard people say this many, many different ways. So I usually buy two of these because this, this is what I use the most. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm not even going to try to say that. Kirkelman? Kirkelman? Maybe? Soy sauce. This is the for that teriyaki flavor. And uh, actually, we're actually going to have a fish fry party tomorrow. Um, I actually have some more footage for you guys of a little fi fishing trip I went on. Um, the footage isn't so great, so I may or may not upload it, but... That's why this is in here. All right. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to prepare the bags for my jerky. I'm just going to label them. One thing I did forget is I forgot to mention the crushed red pepper. This is just to give it a little spicier flavor. Um, I make I make usually three different types of jerky um, every year. I usually make a teriyaki, a pepper, and a chili flavored. Actually, four because I make a garlic flavored one as well, which is also really good. All right, guys. So I have my bags labeled here. Um, I'm just gonna do three batches just for this video. Um, I'll have a lot more jerky. I mean, a lot more jerky to make here later, but. For this video, I'm just going to do three batches, um, chili, one batch of chili, and two batches of pepper. So the jerky, the meat, is going to sit in these bags for 18 hours before I put it into the smoker. So just FYI on that. All right, guys, so we're going to start cutting the meat. Um, the best parts of the, of the uh, deer to use for jerky is usually the butt or the rump. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and make as much as I can out of pretty much everything. Some of the shoulder meat and the, and the butt as well. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the cutting. Um, I like my jerky somewhat thin. So I have it on one of the finer settings here. And uh, I can probably leave uh, links for all the equipment I'm using down below as well. For anybody who's interested or is new to making jerky, um, I can leave all the spices and all the equipment I'll be using in this video down below as well for anybody who is uh, new to making jerky or um, is looking for any equipment like this. Um, it's not super fancy equipment, but um, I bought it as a set in Cabela's uh, one Black Friday uh, a couple years ago. So before then I was just, just using my oven and by hand, just a knife and just cutting the dang deer. It was pretty time consuming, but so we're just gonna start with you know, we could probably turn some of this into jerky here. 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and start with this piece here. So we'll just turn this bad boy on. Show you some more of these pieces that this machine cuts. Cut some pretty good pieces, I think. They almost look like little pieces of steak, but they're very thin. They come out really, really good though. Nice little pieces of jerky there. All right, so I'm just gonna turn off some of this extra meat just to make it easier to uh, cut. This is actually one of my favorite knives. It's, it's uh, Victor Knox, Victor Nix. I don't know how to exactly say it, but it's actually one of my favorite knives. I'll leave it down below as well for anybody who's interested in checking out this knife as well. All right guys, just gonna show you some of the uh, pieces of jerky we got going on here. I'll show you the thickness here up close. So these are gonna be excellent pieces of jerky right here. I don't know if y'all guys can see that, but man, that's going to be perfect. Nice little thin strips. And I have this on, where is it at? Can't, numbers covered up. Setting 15. So setting 15, if you have a uh, Cabela's slicer. Almost lost the train of thought there. But yeah, guys, these are the uh, jerky pieces, which are excellent. All right, so I'm going to cut up some more meat. I'll show you what we got so far, guys. This is what we got so far. Not bad. Got some nice looking strips here, though. I mean, those are beautiful, beautiful strips of jerky. So I'm just going to cut up some more meat. I'm probably going to turn this whole deer into uh, uh, salami, sausage, and jerky, more than likely. I'm not so good at making salami. That's something I'm still trying to learn. Um, but jerky, I'm pretty good at. Or at least I think I'm pretty good at. Um, it always comes out really, really good. What we're going to do is we're going to get our bags ready. So I have all my meat already um, sliced up. This is all the jerky meat. Um, it's probably about, I don't know, six pounds or so, seven pounds of jerky. Uh, I'm just gonna make a short batch, mainly because it's getting late on me right now. It's uh, almost 11, and I'm actually gonna be going hunting in the morning, so I have to wake up early. So I, I was just thought I'd cut this short and uh, just start getting the meat going. So this is gonna be my chili bag. This is going to be for the uh, spicier jerky here. I usually add a little bit of this first. And I don't measure none of this stuff, guys. I usually just throw it in there. I've been doing this for years, and I've just been throwing it in there like this. And it always comes out good. Now, if you want more of a teriyaki flavor on your jerky, then you're gonna wanna, then you're gonna want to add more of this um, versus the uh, Worcestershire, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. I, I usually add more of the Worcestershire just because um, that's what I like better. But totally up to you guys. Like I said, I don't measure none of this stuff, guys. I just throw it in and go. And I've always had good success with this. People have always liked it, so I'm not gonna fix something if it's not broken, right? All right. So next is the onion powder. So I actually had one that was already used. So I put the new one I had bought away. And again, this isn't measured. be 
good. Now again, if you don't like onion flavor, then you don't add any onion powder. Next thing is garlic pepper, which I thought I had opened them all up to save some time on the video, but I guess I didn't. This stuff really makes the jerky taste uh, really good. And I don't use any actual seasoning on the meat, like any kind of jerky, um, jerky or meat seasoning. I usually just use um, the garlic pepper, onion powder. I know that they sell some kits out there that offer the uh, seasoning for the meat itself. But I've always liked the way the meat has turned out this way. And again, ground black pepper. And you want to get the bigger kernels um, for this pepper. Um, or you could do it the way I used to do it, which was buy the little cans where you turn it, turn it, turn it with the actual um, whole peppercorns. But that takes a lot of time until I found this one. Okay. And we're going to add some more chili peppers here at the end. And look at this stuff, guys. Just perfect, perfect, perfect jerky slices. So we're just going to throw some in here. Let it mix up a little bit. And then you're going to set this in the refrigerator, just your regular refrigerator. For 18 hours. So you're gonna let the meat soak up all this flavor. I usually give it a good mix. And you don't want it too too spicy, but add a little bit of peppercorn. I mean chili peppers in there. And that should be it for this one. If you add a lot of this stuff, it will burn the crap out of you. All right guys, so it is now the next day. And what I'm gonna be doing now is preparing the smoker. I'm not gonna use the dehydrator because the jerky tastes a lot better when it comes out of this thing than, than the dehydrator. And all I have here is some mesquite chips which I actually used to make these myself. I used to get mesquites and make mesquite chips out of them, but it's kind of time consuming. Um, and for the price that you're gonna pay for this, it's not really worth my time to go out and make them myself. I think a bag like this is like four bucks or something like that. And you can always find these sometimes on clearance, um, like at Walmart and things like that. Um, usually for like $2.50, $2. So it's, I mean, for $2, I mean, I'm not gonna waste my time making my own chips. So, what you're going to do is actually have my old chips in here and never threw them out. Um, let me throw these out real quick. What you're going to do is you're just going to add some chips to this little tray in the uh, smoker. And you can add whatever flavor you want. I'm using mesquite, but there's cherry, there's apple, there's um, oak. There's all kinds of wood chips out there. And you're just going to fill up the little tray a little bit with the chips. And I don't, I don't add any water in there. There's people that add water into these smokers, but um, I, I never have and it's always turned out good. Okay. So we got our chips in there, we got our catch tray, drip tray, and we have the bottom tray for anything extra, the excess. Um, so now we're ready to go. And then we'll get the jerky. Okay, so this is what the jerky's gonna look like once it's been marinated. It's gonna change a completely different color. Um, and that's how you know it's gotten marinated pretty good. So we're gonna throw these on the rack. And you don't have to do it like this, but I put the chili down at the bottom because I don't want my chili at the top 
dripping on the ones that are not hot. Um, just in, just in case that everything turns freaking hot by the drippings coming off of the top rack. And I'll kind of bring you guys in and show you. So this is the jerky, now we're just going to throw it on the rack. Jerky is a very time consuming process guys, it really is. And you don't want to put the jerky um, right on top of each other, you want to give them room to uh, dehydrate or basically to uh, drain all the excess liquid and fluid uh, all right guys so we have our three racks already filled up with the jerky um, I still have some extra jerky left in some of the bags so I'm probably just going to let those marinate for another six hours, see how those turn out. But I know these will be good. Um, I ran out of room and I really don't want to put them in the dehydrator because I don't like the way they taste compared to this. So we're going to leave it like that. And now I'm just going to take you around on the camera to the timer, so you how, show you how I set up the timer. And uh, we'll come back and revisit this. Alright guys, one last look at the jerky before it goes in. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna set the time and the temp. So set temp, we're gonna set it to 165. Now we're gonna set the time and we're gonna set it for 10, 10 hours. All right, I'll leave this smoker down in a link below for anybody who's interested in a smoker, you're looking for a smoker. Um, this one works pretty well, um, I can't complain. And as you can see, the heating deal just turned on. And there you go, you just wanna make sure you open your vents, you wanna let the smoke flow up and not trap it, so, which it usually will, but. And it'll smell up your house like jerky, so. That's why you want, usually want to have this in like a little shed or unless you like the smell of jerky, hey, go for it. But uh, that's why you kind of keep it separated from everything else in the house because it will stink up the house. It's not a bad smell, but some people don't like that. All right, guys, so it is done. The jerky is done. Um, we have finished the jerky, so I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like or what it does look like. Um, all in all, I put it on there for 10 hours on the smoker. Worked out perfectly, so right now the smoker's cooling down. Um, but yeah, guys, it was a long process, so this video's gonna take me a while to edit. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see more videos like this, or you wanna see me cook anything else, um, just drop it down below. I'm more than happy to put it together for you guys. Um, yeah, I'll show you, the, show you the jerky here right now. All right, guys, so this is the jerky. It's all done. You'll see how much weight the meat loses when it gets dehydrated. But it all came out really, really, really well. It came out perfect. Has a little bit of hair right there, but other than that, it's still good. Alright guys, so this is the jerky. Um, the middle rack was the one that added the uh, jerky seasoning to. I tried, I tried three different flavors. Um, so here goes nothing. And it's actually really good. And it's actually really freaking good. I think I'll use that jerky flavor again. Oh, really, really good, guys. Alrighty, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, 
Like always, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless.